to the deep blue. It's the Cube, covering Oracle Cloud World. Brought to you by Oracle. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Welcome back to Washington DC, everybody. This is the Cube. We're here at Oracle Cloud World. Oracle does a series of events really pushing the cloud messaging. We heard today the Oracle Cloud Machine, big announcement. We did an analysis on wikibon.com, check out siliconangle.com for all the news, all the analysis. Pat Sullivan is here, he's the Managing Director of the Oracle Tech uh, Partnership for Accenture, and he's joined by Sherry Gartner, who's the Vice President of the Global uh, Accenture Partnership. Folks, welcome to theCUBE, good to see you. Thanks Thank for coming on. Thank you very on. much. So, Sherry, I'm going to start with you. Good vibe here. Uh, you guys have done a couple of these now. I did a quick drive-by in New York. A lot of people, a lot of action around cloud. What's it like here? What's the action? Oh, it's definitely a lot of excitement, a lot of momentum, a lot of uh, clients and teams accelerating uh, their movement to cloud. So, good energy, good vibe. Happy, right. Uh, so, Pat, talk a little bit about Accenture and, and what you guys are up to these days. You've always been at the heart of creating value for customers. I, I like to say that firms like yours are in the business of helping people make money. Because the sure. guys, your customers, they focus on the big problems and they turn that into opportunity. So what's hot these days? Everybody's talking about digital transformation, cloud. What's on the minds of, of CEOs and, and CXOs today? Sure. Yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot happen right now across our client base, specifically around cloud. And we've been making some significant investments with Oracle in that area. But I think the key thing is we've, we've been working with clients around Oracle Cloud now for years. We've got about hundreds of implementations across 30 different countries. And that's pretty big. That's what's on people's minds right now, and that, that transformation, but it's really that, that pivot of how to get to digital. And cloud's a big part of that. So, I want to talk about the digital piece, but yeah. start with the problem. When you walk into a, 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 a customer environment, what are they telling you that they're struggling with? Yeah, so, I think a, a big piece of what's going on today is how do we get to cloud? And we're talking some of the largest enterprises out in the globe. And so that's, that's one big aspect of it. But the other part of it is, is once you get there, there's a big integration problem. So I've got all of this stuff across my enterprise. How do I put that together, stitch it together, and make it work? It's not as easy as just deploy a cloud, put your data there, and, and it all works. So that's that's one area that we're focused in on. Okay, and of course, we're going to talk about digital some more, but I want to talk briefly, Sherry, about the partnership. You have Accenture in your yes. title. You have Oracle in your title. You guys are pretty serious. Accenture, obviously, you could count on one hand the number of companies of the depth of industry expertise as, right. as does Accenture. Talk a little bit about the partnership, how it's evolved over the years, and really what the focus is today. Okay, it's a very good question, and I'm happy to answer that. So we've enjoyed our partnership for over 23 years, and we continue to make joint uh, investments together, and one of them, which is very near to a lot of our clients today, is obviously the acceleration to cloud. So we joined uh, and formed a dedicated business group that we launched almost a year ago, and it's the Accenture Oracle Business Group, which is a clear representation of how our partnership has grown and what we're actually taking to the market for our clients. Okay, so you guys will make joint investments in that initiative. Absolutely. Well, talk about, Sherry, start with you. What, what, what does Oracle bring to the table? And then Pat, what does Accenture bring to the table? Money, resources, talent. Talk about how that all comes together and, and what you deliver to, to customers. Right. So I think I would start with, from an Oracle perspective, obviously everything within our software as a service, our platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, is key to what actually is core to our mission and our strategy right now. So when we look at what we bring together with both organizations from an industry perspective and what our clients are looking for, it's held within the umbrella of the Accenture Oracle Business Group. Mm -hmm. Okay, and from Accenture's perspective, would you approach these joint initiatives, not joint venture, but joint initiatives, what do you bring to the table? You know, what are your main areas of emphasis? Sure, so I'm sure you talked about the formation of this Accenture Oracle Business Group roughly right. a, a year ago right now. It was really focused on solving those problems that our clients are having. And so there's a, there's a big gap once you get to cloud, specifically across industries. So there's a lot of things that Accenture's done over the past 20 years, a lot on Oracle technologies, where we've had to kind of supersede and fill the gaps from an industry perspective whether that be business processes or, or different elements around that. So we've taken that expertise and we've, we've transformed that onto Oracle's cloud. So those are things that we're bringing to help solve those problems and close that gap in terms of the effort that is really needed to, to get to that digital space. 
in a company that is you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 or more years old. Right. So let's talk about digital. Particularly from an indus industry perspective, digital is really interesting because it seems to be breaking down the traditional vertical stacks within an industry. Right, manufacturing, R&D, sales, distribution, partnerships, the ecosystem used to be pretty cemented. You know, people would stay in a single industry forever. Now you're seeing, you know, Apple go into financial services, Amazon right. is becoming a content company. You know, uh, Uber, I mean, it's just unbelievable what's happening. So, so start there in terms of what do you see happening across industries? Are your clients on the defensive? Are they trying to be on the offense? Not get Uberized? Talk about that a little bit, Pat. Yeah, it's, it's a really good question. So from that perspective, as our clients are embarking digital, the, the key thing that we're helping our clients with is to become competitive, to be the leader in their industry, to take that disruption and use it to their advantage mm -hmm. and almost use digital as a weapon across the industry. And that's where our partnership with, with Oracle on cloud specifically, that's that area where we're able to take it to the digital space. So the interesting right. part, thing about that partnership, you, Pat, you, you know, Accenture brings the deep industry expertise. Sherry, obviously Oracle Bring writes software, yes. right? So, you, so essentially, are you able to codify that industry expertise into your, into your applications and, and, and actually deliver specific value by various right. industries, right. package value? Right. So that's actually the core fundamental reason why we formed the Accenture Oracle Business Group was solely for that, to leverage the Accenture's strong industry depth and expertise, their delivery capabilities, coupled with our technology, is absolutely core and critical to our mission that our clients actually see value with because each of them are looking at a different way within their organization. They want that choice. And from a cloud perspective and the industry differentiation, it's critical. So Pat, what's the... What's the role of cloud and digital? Is it plumbing? Uh, is it a, uh, an accelerant? Where does cloud fit in that digital conversation? I think cloud is one of the transformative pieces that's driving a lot of this digital disruption that's happening. But it's one thing to say that, Dave. I, there's, there's a lot of things that we've been doing as part of this Accenture Oracle business group. So you mentioned the word plumbing. One, one key thing, we look at more of from an integration perspective. And we've been looking at the digital glue, if you will, because our clients have applications, some custom applications that might be 20 or 30 years old, but we still have to make those work in this digital area. So we've taken a couple of our assets that we've built specifically on Oracle Technologies over the past few years, and we've applied that in this cloud space to really be able to glue what has been out there, or this cloud to cloud, cloud to customer, cloud to on-premise type concepts. And that's been a big piece to help our clients get to a true digital transformation. So one of the announcements we saw today from Oracle was the Oracle Cloud Machine. Uh, we saw this, I saw glimpses of it at Oracle Open World last fall yeah. under a different name. Now it's you know, renamed the Oracle Cloud Machine. The ability to bring uh, uh, cloud-like services on-prem. So what kind of momentum w are you seeing for cloud in the market generally and specifically would you expect to see with that type of capability? from your customers? Well, we've talked a lot about cloud here in the last five minutes, right? And right. I think there's still those inhibitors on moving to cloud. And what Oracle's brought to the table with the Oracle Cloud Machine, it's it's targeting those inhibitors that our clients are having. So data sovereignty, where all these restrictions, but even with all those, whether a government may put those restrictions out there, a lot of our clients just have policies in place around security for their enterprises that prevent them from really truly embracing cloud. So what Oracle's brought out with this is a smart move, and I think our clients are going to like how this can work from more of an on-premise perspective and give that sense of security that they're looking for. Yeah, we saw IDC speaker this morning uh, talk about 56% of the survey base that they surveyed were embracing, they use that term, embracing cloud. So it feels like we're at that tipping point. Sherry, from a from a cultural perspective, Oracle, it, it always, we always joke about the Larry Ellison Churchill Club, yes. right? Oh, they, Oracle doesn't like cloud was the interpretation. Of course, that wasn't the, the case. Has there been a cultural shift inside of Oracle with respect to cloud? Uh, most definitely. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, it's, it's absolutely core to our whole mission and our strategy. So everything is about cloud. But to the point that points that Pat was making around the Oracle Cloud Machine and what we actually announced here today, it gives our clients the option, you know, the choice 
to have a cloud-enabled solution that they're able to realize the benefits from. So absolutely critical. So Pat, cloud resonates with customers, uh, but it's a means to a digital end, is it not? Can we talk about that a little bit? It is, but I don't think there's an end anywhere in place at this yeah, point. Yeah, you're never done. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'll, I'll give an example I use a lot with our clients and internally across Accenture as well is, um, just think about your own personal situation. I can tell you in the Sullivan house, we're doubling, tripling the amount of data that we have in our household, whether it be pictures or videos. But now if you take that same example and apply that towards a corporation and a large enterprise, our clients are doubling, tripling the amounts of data that they bring in. But more importantly, they're liable for 70 to 80% of that data. So from a cloud perspective, the question you have to ask is where is that data? How important is it? And so back to the Oracle Cloud Machine, I think this is going to be something very interesting from that security space around yeah. elements like that. All right, we got to wrap up. Sherry, I'll give you the last word. What should we be watching in terms of the partnership over the next 12 to 18 months as observers? What are the key milestones that we should be paying attention to? Oh, I think from, a, from an Accenture Oracle business group, we'll t take to market a very compelling and powerful proposition with industry, co-developed industry, solutions with pre-built accelerators to help our clients more rapidly realize the benefits of cloud. All right, Thank Oracle, you very much. dominating the cloud. You know, I, we used to hear ERP will never go to the cloud, financial services companies will never go to the cloud, that's changing. Oracle's at the heart of that. Folks, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE. Thank you Pat, very Sherry, much. good to see you. Thank All right, you. keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this. This is theCUBE, we're live in DC. Right back. <laughs>